My first name is Troy, in the last name is England. I was a patient at Ward Chamberlain, nursing when I was at Rehabilitation Center in Stratford um, in 2012. Because of a corrective um, foot surgery I need to have done on my left foot called the triple orthodesis, which in layman's terms means they put seven screws in my left foot to make it straighter. My passion in life is to just uh, to live life to the fullest, to take every day as it comes to the to the very end of the uh, rainbow and see the jackpot. In 1994, I fell off a swing set at my friend's backyard. I suffered a traumatic brain injury, and my brain shifted in my head popping a blood vessel on the left side of my brain here, pushing my brain over and bending my brain stem over. I was in a coma for three months, which in return um, um, really affected my, my feet and my hand-eye coordination until I had this latest surgery on my body in 2012. What stood out for me at Lord Chamberlain was just like the family aspect of the facility. It was a very family oriented like facility where they all were just like, oh, hey Troy, it's like, okay, let's go play bingo, let's go play Wii. And I was like, okay. So we can also, the therapists were really awesome. They really helped me out with um, my foot um, is performing absolutely like five stars all over the map because I get to go everywhere without any pain at all. If you have a injury such as a broken leg or broken foot, then you might want to consider doing a nursing home or rehab rehabilitation center because it is a very um, like close knit family, like I said before that they will help you out in any way that, you, that they possibly can. Um, the sort of the work I was doing before all this stuff happened was um, um, I was helping out at the, um, the senior center in the town that I live in. Um, and I was in charge of um, setting up all the, like, the Wii games and I had to set up all the chairs in the exercise room too, because we had, because we do all these like um, group exercising. Well, since 2012, my rehabilitation has really like taken off pretty much, because I'm not, uh, I'm not able to ride quads at my friend's house, and I'm trying to knock on wood. Um, and we're trying to actually um, get me back on a dirt bike, which I haven't been on a dirt bike in nearly 26 years. Um, before my accident, I was a, um, I guess you say a pro junior dirt biker. And um, I had my own dirt bike and stuff and all that. And like, you know, I won races and all that. But, I, uh, but after my accident, I lost the ability to ride a dirt bike. Um, and it's always been a dream of mine to ride a dirt bike again and I'm finally gonna try this coming like actually next week um, like starting next week or so I'm gonna try riding a dirt bike again which I cannot wait I'm so pumped for that and it's gonna be so cool uh, for PT I um, um, I was walking around the facility with a walker on uh, one foot still Hopping up and down all that like it was pretty cool. But also the PT we also did um um stairs too. But but in my case it was bumping up and down stairs on my rear end. And um like you're just getting around, just finding other ways to get around and stuff. If I were to go home and I still need to stay on my foot, but they never happened on but but thanks to 
Lord Jamin, I was able to find other ways to get around and stuff. Alright, well, um, this is my scar I've had since 1994 when they cut open my head to save my life right here. This is my, my plastic plate in my head that I have. I've had it in there since 1995. And, um, you know, I've been around the world, I guess you could say, with like, your know, therapies and stuff, just to be who I am right now. So I want to thank the people at Writer's Health for helping me be who I am right now because without their, their help, I would probably be like a lot worse off. If you want to check out my channel, for whoever watches this, check out my channel. It's youtube.com slash Troy E as in England, 415, or on the app at Troy E 415.